Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the MLG Pro League Season 1 Championship. You see some nice Pumaj hoodies out in the audience, and we got a special giveaway today. We're giving out a Pumaj hoodie. In order to win it, guys, we're going to need you to send in some hashtags. Tweet at MLG and at Pumaj, P-A-M-A-J. Use the hashtag MLG Pro League Champs, the hashtag Pumaj is love, and the hashtag Pumaj is life. Do that and you have a chance to win yourself a very own Pomage hoodie. We got some awesome ones up here in the booth. Pac-Man and I, we're gonna be fighting over this blue one. What do you think about these Pomage gear? The Pomage hoodies are really okay. sweet. I was surprised with, like, with how well they turned oh, out. And Nike, man. Yeah. Who doesn't want a Nike hoodie? So yeah, get your tweets in, man. P I'm really happy to have you up here though. Pac-Man, I know this wasn't the placing you wanted at the tournament, but now you get a chance to kind of sit back and watch some of the other games. We have a good one coming up with TK and Envy. Oh, this is going to be a great match. I think that uh, both these teams are really evenly matched, and I think that it really is going to come down to if Sharp and Theory play consistent and then keep up with the slayers of, of Envy, because they have really strong, really, really strong slaying power. All right, so let's kick it off by introducing Team Caliber. Taking a look at the squad, this has been one of two teams that kept their four-man starting lineup the entire regular season. Theory, he's been the OBJ guy, but last night Theory was really putting up some serious kills. Uh, he, he surprises people with his slaying power. He's really good. People underrate him all the time. And then, of course, Theory, while he's running the objective, we're going to see Looney doing kind of that slang. It says his role support, but really, what are we expecting to see out of Looney today? He used to team with this guy. Oh, Looney's a great respawn player. Like, really top-notch, uh, one of the most underrated players in the game. He hits corners that people don't give him credit for, and then he has really good gun skill. Goonjar, uh, everyone had the question mark on him. Which goon will we see last night? He was the slang goon that we expected. If goon, if goon goes off, they will win. He has the potential to be unstoppable on the map. So Goon, definitely going to be the X Factor for the squad. But talk to me about Big Daddy Sharp. He's been in this since 2009. I called the action as he won that national championship. <laughs> Sharp, Sharp is one of those players that complains online all the time. But when he comes to land, he gets rid of all of that, and he shows up every single tournament. So Sharp, he was looking very solid. You said he and Theory are your two players to watch. Can they stay consistent? Last night, a lot of people were surprised just how strong they were when they faced off against Prophecy. They're going to have their hands full, though, with the opponents on the opposite side of the stage. Let's send it over to Envy. I see you, Sharp. Here is Team Envious, of course, making the huge trade for this man, Zuma, coming over. He was a monster in SD last night. He and Renato combining for 21 kills. Tell me about this man. In order for TK to win an SD, they're going to have to stop Zuma from getting first bloods. He gets first bloods better than any other player in the league. Saints was right there with him. 1.13 uh, KD throughout the regular season. His SD right behind that, a 1.12. 30 kills per game. Saints really just a monster slayer in this game. But then we're going to take it to the other two players, the core of Envy. We have Nameless and Merc. Talk to me about Nameless. Nameless has been leading the team for a while. I mean, I guess Merc is the captain. They both, I think he's the vocal leader online. He keeps them together, and he really steps up on land. And then Merc, of course, we saw what he can do on land, always known for his struggles with the Ohio internet connection up in Cleveland. 0.91 KD overall in the respawn. SD just a 0.81 as he is carrying a lot of the bombs. But Merc showing his skills last night in that CTF game, 29 and 14. One of the most impressive performances of the weekend. So, Pac, we're loading things up. We're going to the best of five. It's the same maps that we saw in the losers round. So we're going to start things off with Hardpoint on retreat. What are you expecting to see here in this first game? Um, I've always seen that Looney does really well on this map. I expect him to go off and carry 2K to 50. Well, not carry, but you know. Yeah? Give him that little extra push. A little backpack that action. Little, that little extra push they need to win the game. All right, we'll see what Looney can do now. When we're looking at the Envy squad, if someone's going to cancel out Looney's slang, who's going to put up the numbers in your opinion? Uh, Saints, for sure. If Saints, when Saints goes off, he goes off in the hill, he gets tons of defense, and he's just Possible to stop. Interesting strat there, uh, stat there. Envy and TK tied during the regular season in hardpoint at 2 2. So this one going to be the determining factor. Who is better at HP throughout season one? We're going to start things off. Who do you want to watch? TK? Uh, I think or you should this hop on board squad? with Theory and see if you, I'm pretty sure he's going to rush the hill and see if he can win that fight and start them off. All right, Theory's going to be rocking the ASM one as usual. He's going to be. Uh, you know, hardwired. A little bit interesting here to see him starting off with that. Everyone stuns this area right here, so he's going to use it to just get rush the hill. 
And he's right in. Looks like trophy systems enabled by Merc. That's gonna keep him alive. And we're gonna see Goonjar now rotating through towels, gonna try and get an intro kill to his left. He's got some help from teammates oh, in the back big end. Big shots right there by Zuma. But nice push on the other end. We're going over to Sharp, and Sharp is looking as one of the bow players to kick things off. What do you want to use here for this first hill when it comes to weapon uh, loadouts? Well, you need to have you need to have people controlling the top of the map. If you don't have anybody circle or top or top dubs, they could just rain fire over you. So you have to have people there. And usually subs play this towel spot so they can watch because you can win easy gunfights in here. Theory. That's why he keeps looking towels. Theory unable to get anything going over to Nameless, who is rocking about. We actually saw Nameless start things off with an AK-12. Uh, pretty interesting to see some new guns being used. The IMR, we saw that earlier this week, and as well as the AK-12 in hands of Parasite and a few other players. Zoom on your screen, though, is going to be battling for this next hard point. This one, the most important on the map at times, and it looks like Zuma getting lots of help. Right. Merc yeah. doing the kills outside of the hill is on a two spree, and Saints is on a five spree. Let's go to him. So Pac-Man, uh, Saints, doing a, Saints right now is controlling a huge power point on the map. If you control top plat, you can rotate to back stairs or top pool wherever your teammates die and fill in really quickly. And that's a huge two piece by Saints. Yeah. Once he gets going, he's on an eight streak right now. Once he gets going, it's impossible to stop. Impossible. Love this is what, what we're talking about from this man. Wow. This is really impressive. <laughs> he's looking around like he has cod vision right now. It's impressive. All right, Saints, looking for oh, another a ridiculous he's 10, on a ten streak. streak. He started off with two deaths, Moody slows 10 him down kills, a little bit. and he is going off. We're going over to Nameless now. He's got a bow in hand. Lots of pressure as TK trying to flood in, but look at our scoreboard. 56 to just about 10 points here from this TK lineup. We're going to see the rotation to the top half of the map. Where do our players want to lock down? Uh, people, you want to spawn them like bottom cave. If you spawn them bottom cave, there's nowhere they can really go. They have to come up the hill to win gunfights against you. But it's hard, everyone knows that it's really hard to win those gunfights. Oh, Saints, Saints is going off. This is something that you can't you can't teach what Saints is doing. There's nothing. He's just getting three pieces in the hill. That's an X factor that you need to win at a high level. I'm just gonna watch Saints all game if you're okay <laughs> with that. It's the Saints show. Not gonna happen this time. Sharp gonna push in. He only picked up his fifth kill there. Theory also with just five kills. Basically, if you add up Goonjar, Theory, and Sharp, you almost have the equal amount of kills to Saints in this game alone. He's at 16 and 7, was just taken down. Merc is rotating over, and it looks like Envy has lost control for the moment. TK, can they rack up some serious time on this hill? They brought it back within about 25 points. I want to hop on board with Goon. Can we hop on board with Goon? Absolutely. Goon's in the hill right now, assisting his teammate. Right now, he's going to be the first off rotation. These are big fights right here. Gets one week. And what was, the, what was the reason you wanted to watch Goon there? Well, those rotation kills are what really wins the game. If you win those rotation kills, then your team gets set up. The rest of your teammates get easy kills. It's much harder to get kills when you're pushing into the other team's control. Over to Theory. Theory's going to put pressure at the bar. He's going to fall back to Goon. Goon spawning way out across the map. You see he's working with a teammate here. That's going to be Sharp. Sharp's going to go down low, and it looks like Sharp's entry kill going to help clear it out. Goon not able to hold on, though. Theory trying to pressure from the opposite side. Really nice job, though, by this Envy squad. Zuma holding down the hill to contest as long as possible. The score difference, just 20 points. So the closest it's been since the second hard point. Envy giving up a little bit of room, but not breaking quite yet. Zuma is going to be pushing forward as they try and rotate out of this one. 15 seconds before the next hill. And really, it's this top hard point that we see full 60 seconds at a time. Usually, teams that win the turtle hill rotation, the second hill, end up winning the rotation to the last one since they're very similar. And last time, that's how Envy grew that huge lead. So we got to see if, the, if TK can win this rotation of this hill and bring this back. Sharp's already up there. He's got great cover on the back end. That was Theory watching the back stairs. You also have Looney over at the jump wall, it looks like. And Sharp, he's going to get some big kills with Goon picking up a two-piece in the kill feed. So TK, they could come back right here. Deathly making some noise out in the crowd. I can hear from the casting booth. TK fans making some noise, trying to get behind their squad as they are rallying back. You can see Envy. They have no answer to breaking the setup from Team Caliber. Sharp hasn't seen a player in 15 seconds. Finally, Merc is up the stairs. Nameless just had a huge two-piece to break that hill with a bow, too. That's a really hard kill to get up close with the bow. Looney, Looney with just, Looney the three. Just, oh, Looney's, Looney passed Saints in the slaying department, too, and Saints was, Saints was going off. So Looney's right there countering him. Theory down low, won't be able to get the kill, so Envy is going to hold on for the final 10 seconds. That is going to give them a 20-point advantage going into the next hard point. Actually, less than that, only about 12. So let's go over to the rotating players. I want to see what Looney is up to trying to lock down this far courtyard. 
Uh, Looney's, oh, just get cleaned up right there. He was trying to get Tao's control, but it's hard to do when the other team has AR set up on top of the map. Every team, every team goes right for Tao's control immediately. It's the easiest place to get in the hill or break, kill people out of the hill. So you have to get control of that immediately. Looney not able to break in once again. It is Envy here with the courtyard picking up serious time. When, when you get back to this courtyard rotation, What's the what's the ideal amount of time you want to lock up? What what's if kind you, of if you can win average? this hill by 20, 30 seconds, you did a, a fantastic job on this hill. This hill just a lot of scrap time. What the, the goal on this hill should be to keep control of white side of the map so that you can win the rotation of the turtle hill, which is a lot easier to hold and you get a lot of points. Now, when you say white side of the map for some of our new players out there on the mini map itself, where is that? It's the it's the side closest to the turtle side. So this side right now that sharp is. That Sharp is on going up these steps. This is the side of the map that you want to hold. Sharp and up right top. Right there, he gets the power position that I was talking about last time. He's up top plat. That's where you need to be. You can rotate to both places. Merc Doing trying to job. pick him in. Oh. There he is with the kill. We take kill it over to Merc. Looney. Looney's inside the hard point. Three players all around him. Needs to go off. Going to find two. Jumps in between them and it can't oh. pick up a single kill. Zuma is able to turn and take him down as Nameless picks up the two-piece. So Nameless now at 23 kills. Zuma at 22. And Saints... Plus 10 still at 30 and 20 is back in the lead of all players when it comes to the kill. Zuma though, pressing out on pool side. You can see the amount of coverage they have on that mini map. No one really inside the hill but nameless. Everyone pushing out very well. This hill, this hill is important. This right here, they won that. They broke sharp off top flat and they were able to get full blood out lobby and take full control of this hill. That's why they're growing their lead out to about 40 points now. As we take a look, it looks like the rotation oh, huge already shots. coming through from and that's Zuma at the very top of your screen. Zuma gonna have his hands full. Three players in oh. here. This is a great job he's doing right now. Just every second that you stay alive, it gives your teammates time to push across the map. It only takes a couple seconds to get across the map in Advanced Warfare. So just sitting in there and staying alive is a huge play. And you saw Merc rotating back near caves, gave all three of his teammates spawns. However, while he's doing that, Theory has been racking up time. This game's still very close, 37 points separating the two squads. We're seeing Envy hold on to the lead, but not by much if Sharp keeps it up. Slaying his way inside the hard point. You're gonna see Looney now controlling. Picks up the two-piece there, taking out Zuma and Saints. Here comes Nameless with Merc, and it's gonna be Theory holding on. He's got Sharp in support. Everyone falling though at the hands of Zuma and Saints, and they will retake control. He's right there though, you saw that TK made, had, like, made a little comeback there because they were spawning them cave, and then Zuma made big plays by winning huge gunfights. But when you know that they're spawning cave, there's only one exit. So when there's only one exit, it's easy firing range. You stun down the cave, easy shots. It's gonna come down oh. to these final two hard points, Pac-Man. Walk me through what both teams wanna do. Right there, those wins by Zuma are the type of wins that win your team the game. Those, those, those are those rotation kills. He got two of them, and now they have full control. TK has to break and, and gain enough points to make the last hill competitive. All right, Looney's got to go big here. There's yeah. 42 points left in this hard point to gather. He's doing a nice job of staying alive. Pushes out, though, as the teammate is going to jump in. His theory trying to control that HP. Going to see a teammate go down, but he's able to trade. Ah. Goon will fall, and theory spawns out. So again, Envy is breaking the hard points at will. When Looney pushed out of that hill, he needed to get those kills. Those are tough kills to get, but those are the ones that you need to do to keep them pushed out, keep them pushed out to get the time. Here on your screen, picks one up top stairs while Goon picks up the double down low. Looney, one kill away from the 40 bomb. One minute and three seconds left. And we see basically a 64 point advantage in favor of Envy. This one basically locked up, excuse me, 43 points advantage for Envy. That lead is growing though as they will be moving over. They had control at the top though, so this one basically locked up unless TK breaks it right now. Theory is there, contesting with Merc. And that is it. Zuma clearing them out. What we saw this game was that they were literally winning every single rotation fight, except for the one to the top flat on the first rotation. Envy won all the rotation gunfights and made it easier for them to, them to get those kills. And then it just shows up in the slang department. Right. Who is, who's your key player in this game? Oh, it was Saints. Saints got them out to that lead. That made TK have to play a little bit more frantic, maybe make some decisions that you wouldn't normally make because you need to come back into the game. He just, he just started out on fire. Yeah, 10 kill spree yeah, there kill in, in between the second that's, and third hard that's, point. Really that's ridiculous obscene. stuff. So Saints is going to finish above 40 kills. We'll see if Nameless can do the same. He's at 39, hunting for number 40. Can't get it in time. Game one winner is Envious.
they take first blood here in our best of five, but we still have plenty of maps to go. Coming up next, we're gonna see both of our teams move over to Search and Destroy for some action on Terrace. There's Nameless in your round ending kill camp. Zuma, 38 and 36. Nameless, 39 and 20, plus 11. And Saints, plus 10 as well. That's gonna do it for game number one. After this, we'll be back with Search and Destroy. Don't go anywhere.